Collage animation is an incredibly effective technique for storytelling, offering great flexibility to bring any idea to life. Whether it's UI and UX mockups or custom elements, the possibilities are endless. It's a creative approach that allows you to transform ordinary designs into captivating visuals. In this video, I'll guide you through the entire process of creating a stunning collage animation using Adobe After Effects. Plus, all PST files and assets are linked in the description, so you can easily download them and follow along step by step. So let's start with an animation of a hand. For that, select the Puppet tool and put points to the end of the fingers. Then from Mesh, let's go to the Deform options. We have four puppet pins here. Open all of them and you will see the keyframes were created. Now select the all keyframes and copy it. Move the timeline indicator further and just paste it. Then adjust the small finger position. The keyframe is automatically created. Now ease the last two keyframes of a small finger by pressing F9. Copy the first keyframe and paste it at the end. This will help to our hand to come back to its initial position. Now let's adjust the timing by pressing and holding Ctrl Alt. In the graph editor, let's adjust the curves like this. Now move the last keyframe further and our animation is ready. Now let's animate the car. I separated the tires and body of the car. We'll start with the tires. First we need to fix the anchor point. Press Y on your keyboard and bring the anchor point to the center of a tire. Now select both back and front layers and press R for rotation properties. Put the keyframe and move the timeline indicator further. Copy the first keyframes and paste it here. Now move the indicator to the end and adjust the rotation. Select all keyframes, press F9 and ease them. Now for the fast start and slow ending, let's adjust the motion graph. Curves should look similar to this one. Now create a null object. Bring the anchor point to the center, parent the car and body layers to this null object. Now we can control those layers position only with this null object. Select the back layer and press U to reveal the all keyframes. Now for the null layer, press R to access the rotation keyframes. Put keyframes to the beginning and adjust the third keyframes rotation. Now copy the initial position keyframe and paste it. Ease the keyframe and adjust the keyframes for the timing. 
Now let's see how it looks. Now we need to create the same composition with this hand and car. Let's scale down this hand and position it in the right corner. Now select all car layers and pre-compose them. Next, choose the hand layer and let's create a mask. From the mask options, check the inverted box. Now press U to reveal all keyframes and adjust the timing of a hand release. Well, this cardinal object shouldn't be here, so let's copy it. Double click to pre-compose the card layer and paste the null object here. Parent the card and body layer to it again. Now let's come back to our main composition and press P for position properties. Put two keyframes in the beginning and adjust the third keyframe to create a dropping car effect. Now select the last keyframes and press F9 to ease them. You can adjust the motion curves by using Free Motion Tools plugin. Now let's come back to the hand layer and choose the mask. Select Mask Path and let's adjust it to make the hand visible after car drops. Move the timeline indicator further and adjust the mask path manually. The keyframes will be automatically created. Now let's see how it looks. Next, create another null object. And parent hand and car layer to it. Press Y on your keyboard and adjust the anchor point. Now press P for this null object to access the position properties. Put a keyframe and move it further. Now adjust the first keyframe by dragging the elements to the right corner. Move the last keyframe further and ease all keyframes. Then move to the graph editor and adjust the motion curves similar to this one. Now we need to move this hand away after dropping the car. So go to the hand layer and press P for position properties. Put a keyframe and move this keyframe when the car drops. Now move the timeline indicator further and adjust the hand's position. You can play around with the keyframes to find the best option. Lastly, adjust the motion graphs and we're good to go. Now let's create a bounce effect. Choose the null object and press P for position properties. Add a keyframe for its initial position and move the timeline indicator further. Adjust the position by bringing it slightly down. Now copy the first keyframe and paste it at the end. Ease the keyframes and select all of them. Press Alt and Hold to adjust the timing of the keyframes. 
press U to reveal all keyframes and bring position keyframes further, exactly where the rotation starts. Now adjust the timing again and the bounce impact animation is ready. Lastly, adjust the last keyframe of the rotation and our animation is ready. Next, let's create a shape. Click on Rectangle tool and select the color. You can choose any color you want, but I'll go with orange. Now create a rectangle and position it correctly. Make this shape 3D by clicking the 3D icon. Now adjust the X rotation. This shape will be the path for our car. To make this shape appear, we will use Scale Properties. Press S and put the keyframe. Move the keyframe further to make it last position. Adjust the size until it completely disappears. Ease the keyframes and adjust the motion graph. Next, let's add the paper texture. From Blending Options, choose Multiply. Press P for Position Properties. Press and hold Shift and then press S for Scale Properties. Hold Shift and press R for Rotation Properties. Now adjust these three properties. Three keyframes for each will be enough. Now select all the keyframes, right click and select Toggle Hold Keyframe. Next, press and hold Alt and click the stopwatch icon. Then type an expression loop out for each of them. Now we have animated texture. Next, let's make this car stop. We can achieve this by animating the tires again. Double click the pre-composed car layer, move the indicator further and add two rotation keyframes. This time adjust the rotation slightly to the left. Now copy the first keyframes and paste it at the end. Ease the keyframes and let's move to the car null object. Here also add the rotation keyframe. Adjust the second keyframe's rotation to minus 2. Then copy the first one and paste it at the end. Now let's work on keyframes to find the right timing. I think we should delete the first keyframes of a tire.
Lastly, let's adjust the graph editor. Next, put the shadow PNG file, which I created in Photoshop, with a brush tool. Place it correctly and adjust the size. Parent this shadow to the car layer, and we're good to go. Now let's animate the second hand. This one will grab the car. Press Ctrl, Shift and D to separate the layers. Put position properties for the first layer. Select the keyframes and ease them by pressing F9. Then adjust the graph editor. Next, as we did for the first hand, let's add mask path for this one too. Next, create another null object for the second hand. Parent the second hand layer and second car layer to this null object. Then simply add position keyframes to move these layers away from the screen. Lastly, let's add the building's PSD file as a composition. Place them correctly and let's animate it. Here we need to match the car speed and the buildings. Go to the car layer and press U to reveal the all keyframes. Check the graph editor here because we will recreate it for our buildings. Add two position keyframes. Ease them and adjust the graph editor similar to the car layer one. Now up to your choice, you can also edit the PST file, the order of the buildings to find your best one. With that, I think we can end the tutorial here. Thank you for watching, I hope you really enjoyed it and learned something new. Make sure you liked the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. And after adding sound effects, this is how our animation will look at the end.